It is very hard to put everything I'm thinking right now into straight thoughts or in a video. Uh, Who would have thunk that? Germany eliminated. I know the last three European World Champions were all eliminated in a group, group phase. All exited in infamy. I think France probably was the most disappointing in many ways. Uh, they didn't even score a goal. Uh, Italy was super disappointing because they had a super easy group. Paraguay, New Zealand and Slovakia, they didn't even manage to win there. And yeah, Spain had a tough group with tough opponents. But uh, Germany had an equally tough group as Spain. I still thought this group, if Germany is playing what Germany is capable of playing, this group should not have been any problem for them. Uh, but they were not playing well. Uh, it was already showing against Mexico in the first half, then against Sweden when they got nervous in the first half. The only time that Germany played like Germany, or close to what we think is Germany, is probably was the second half against Sweden. Um, and today what shocked me, besides the jersey matchup, more on that later, what shocked me is the fact that I didn't feel any urgency, I didn't feel any confidence, there was no speed in the game. It was headed for a 0-0 and in a way... Uh, Korea showed that in the counter-attacks that they're dangerous, they just don't manage to get a goal. They're not great in the goal scoring department, that was obvious. And so that's this was maybe, to me, the most surprising part of the whole side. Because as soon as Sweden made the one nothing, and you could see the German players, at least uh, the ones on the bench, knew that there needs to be a win, I thought that Germany will put on the pressure. But it was slow. It was slow. Was it the heat or just was it there was no... I cannot believe that Germany uh, is because of the heat wiltering. I, I'm i refusing to believe that. There needs to be more. And it was apathy. Uh, and you could see that they had some good ideas and moves, but there, uh, there was, you know, a pass going there. You can make the dummy and it goes to the other uh, player. If this is a team that's really uh, working together, then um, those moves would work. But so often I thought the wrong player is taking the ball away from her. I think there was one situation where I think Kroos wanted, um, or Özil wanted to play a deep ball. And if another player would have led it through his legs to Werner attacking, I think it was Werner, um, he would have had a clear chance on goal. No, the guy is taking the ball away and we have to start from the beginning. And it was a lot like that. Uh, Korea did well. They put up the wall latest in the second half, if not sooner. They put up a wall um, and Germany never attacked with any pressure, with any real urgency. I don't want to say pressure because they tried to chip away similar to Argentina yesterday. But yesterday I had the feeling it will work and I thought today as well. I mean, my wife, um, she was a little bit more on the German uh, side for sure. Um, and I told her, you know, I think Germany is going to make that goal. Uh, even if they wouldn't deserve it as they do not as they do at the moment. Um, they honestly, I've seen it too often that Germany makes a goal in the last minute. We saw it against Sweden. I was surprised I didn't see it against Mexico. I was expecting it against Korea. Um, it was a disaster. Honestly, it was a disaster. Uh, and four, eight years ago, I would have been jubilant about that. I'm more shocked about it, to be honest. Yes, I don't. Uh, a part of me is because my wife is a little bit sad that Germany is out. It's not that she's a big German fan, but she, uh, this tournament uh, lately, she especially likes Yo she liked Yogi Löw, and yeah, I like Lo I honestly like Yogi Löw too. I think he is a great coach uh, and he made a lot out, out of the German team and now they're discussing whether he should continue or not. Oh, that's a hard discussion for another day. I don't want to do that now. But I honestly would say this team was lifeless. And that's maybe the worst thing I can say about a German team. But I really thought they would get the lucky punch and they will make it one nothing, and Mexico will go home and doesn't know how and why. Um, 
South Korea scored to one nothing. Then I think the only German player where I felt some motivation was Neuer. And of course, it was one nothing. He needed to go ahead. And yeah, then they got a hockey empty net goal. I never thought I'd see the, uh, the World Cup of hockey goals were being scored. <laughs> it was, yeah. And then uh, it seemed like the referee, yes, he promised the Germans to give some extra minutes, but I think after the second goal, just blow the whistle and end the game. This was just um, an execution where you wait forever and ever and ever to finally, you know, to really torture uh, the involved. I really, it was not necessary to play eight additional, nine, even nine additional minutes. I thought that was, um, there was nothing to be decided anymore and the other game had ended. Now for the other game, I have not seen anything. Um, I just read a little bit, um, but yeah, that was impressive by Sweden. Uh, they pulled themselves up, but I, um, it was a little bit expected. I think Mexico's weaknesses play very well into Sweden's strengths. Uh, I always had a gut feeling that unless Sweden is totally dejected from being beaten by Germany in the last minute, uh, that Sweden might get a result against Mexico. And yeah, this could be could be nasty. And it proved to be. Um, Mex uh, seemingly, Sweden quickly made two goals in the second half. And at that point... I don't understand why Germany doesn't do anything. Uh, and the funny thing is the Koreans were the ones that were motivated. Yes, they wanted to avoid public shame. I, I, I totally get that. But I don't get that there was not more coming from Germany. Um, yeah, but back to the Mexico game. Um, yeah, Sweden won it 3-0. Uh, from what I read, deservedly so, they already dominated the first half. Mexico scored their own goal. They gave a penalty. Penalty probably should have given to Sweden. That's what I get out for now. And yeah. Uh, but can you cannot say much more? But yeah, Sweden beat Mexico three nothing. Um, that makes Sweden a pretty darn strong side, and yeah, they will probably like the chances going forward. It's it's amazing to me that a squad without Ibrahimovic, the big star, and without any player, where everyone is saying they are not that talented, blah blah blah, they are going through the tournament. And probably they will make it at least to the quarterfinals. Uh, I can even see them going with the attitude they have and the game plan. They could go even further. <sighs> will be interesting for sure. I don't know what Mexico will do. Um, I think that Brazil will today play for first place. I, I have that idea. I have that feeling that Brazil will try to not make second place. I think it will be... Uh, more reasonable for them because then yes uh, the bracket is not as loaded maybe you don't fear Belgium that much so it will be more interesting what's happening tomorrow in the evening other than that yeah Jersey matchups uh, Mexico Sweden all I wanted that's exactly what I want to see perfect kits uh, as I said Mexico is maybe a tad too dark but overall looks good um, and what did I say about we never see the Germany green kit unless there's some weird that uh, Korea is playing in white? Boy, was I wrong. And it again doesn't make sense to me. Um, maybe there's a rule that now the home team has to play in the entire set. Uh, but then why is France playing against Peru in navy pants? I want to say don't get me started. I liked to see the Germany kit, the green one. I actually like this one a lot. Um, it's just not a good contrast. I mean, the white pants pretty right the contrast in the, in the match. Uh, they're both relatively dark shirts. Um, if it was me, but no one is asking me, Korea would have played with white pants or red pants and Germany would have played in the first uh, kit. Or we would have Germany played in all green it and have Korea play uh, in white. Something like that would have, at least to me, made more sense. But again, no one's asking me. And yeah, I was happy to see the green kits, but the kit clash I didn't like at all. Uh, and it's mainly down to the South Korean kit, which I don't, I don't like this combination of the red with the black pants. And mainly because there is no black in the flag, except on the uh, little uh, signs that they have there. Uh, 
Big in blue. Keep it red. Red would be boring. <laughs> Keep it blue. So that's my take of what happened in group F. Looking forward to group G now. I want to see Brazil and Serbia played out. In secret I'm hoping that Switzerland is not winning and that Serbia goes through. Just an inkling of mine. But yeah, we are about to see that. Let me know what you thought about Group F, about Germany. I think there's another video in store that I need to make about that. And I will talk to you soon. If you enjoyed this video, please hit like and subscribe to my channel. If you've already done so, I would like to thank you for your support. It is very much appreciated. Also, check out the accompanying blog at the link provided in the description below and at the end of this video. Thank you for watching and until next time.